broth, dumplings, noodles. This is one uber comforting bowl of noodle soup and on the healthy side as well. We've got some greens in there. <laughs> this is my 20 minute dumpling noodle soup. All right, let's get stuck straight into our broth. So I am gonna be jazzing up a store-bought chicken stock today. You could use a vegetable stock as well if you like, but the point is we're not being a hero here tonight. We're just, you know, getting some things done quickly. <laughs> and to that, I wanna add in some fresh ginger. That's really the, like, the comforting element here. Anytime I've got ginger in a soup, I am a happy girl and some spring onion. I've always got like some spring onion like kicking around the bottom of my fridge. This is a great one to kind of add to the soup to boost the flavor. You could just add regular, uh, a regular half an onion if you like. Some garlic's good. Just some things to kind of like infuse that chicken stock. Just go in with scissors because it's quicker than getting the chopping board out. And now some soy sauce. Now you want this to heat up and get nice and bubbly and allow those flavors to infuse. While that's happening, uh, let's get a pot of water boiling on the stovetop because that's gonna cook our noodles and dumplings and green vegetables separately. Um, the reason we do that is that you get lots of like starchy bits coming off your dumplings and your noodles and you don't wanna messy up your beautiful broth uh, by cooking everything in the one pot. So there is method to the madness. Um, all right, now, while I'm waiting for that, that soup's kind of just heating up. So what I wanna do is just before it comes to like a rolling boil, I just wanna take a ladle full out here. It needs to be warmish. So I'm starting to see a little bit of steam there. And I wanna get my miso paste in with this broth in the bowl because you don't wanna add your miso paste straight into a rolling boiling soup because it actually like kills all the beautiful, lovely like fermented probiotics and all the healthy things that are in your miso. So, and also it gets lumpy in there. So you kind of wanna temper it first. So in here and then whisk it until it's nice and smooth. Now, by the time that soup has come up to a boil, now I'm starting to smell the ginger and the spring onion, so I know that all that good stuff is seeping out into my broth. So what I wanna do now is just turn the heat off. If you had a bit more time, you could let it bubble away a little bit longer to get more flavor. Totally up to you. But I do wanna scoop out those aromatics now. So now we can pour our miso, our tempered smooth miso into hot broth that's not boiling and that is our beautiful miso broth all done so that can just sit there for the minute we want to concentrate on our noodles and our dumplings next so I've just got some dried udon noodles here you can use any kind of noodle you fancy or a pasta doesn't matter pop that into your boiling water and when those noodles are cooked just drain them out pop them straight into your bowl So keep that water boiling. I just want to add in my dumplings now. These are frozen dumplings. Again, no one's being a hero today. Uh, these are just some pork dumplings. You could use whatever kind of dumplings you fancy. And once they're cooked, just scoop them out those into your bowl as well. So now for our little healthy part, um, green vegetables always makes me feel so much more virtuous on a weeknight. I'm using some Chinese choy sum. You could use broccoli, um, beans, whatever you like. But you know, again, just in with the scissors because it's easier. Now the greens don't take very long at all. So I'm just gonna pull those out. And now we can go in with our lovely gingery miso broth. Now just some final little bits and pieces here. Nice jammy boiled egg. And of course, because you know me and the chili, it's like non-negotiable, <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of chili oil as well. And there you go, my friends. One ultra comforting bowl of goodness right there. And I need to get in here and try this out. Oh, that's a 
such a nice colour in that broth. Mm. I mean, it doesn't, it tastes like you've been simmering that for so long. Ah, so good. Get that little hint of ginger. Oh, <coughs> some of that spicy chili oil, that's good. Mm. Dumplings, always, dumplings, always good. Mm. Such a simple dish, but wow, so good. <coughs> 